What up everybody, it's your boy This is my sneaker head in the house coming with yet another video Before we get started As always, please hit that thumbs up Subscribe, comment, share I truly appreciate it This next video discussion is on The recent cancellations By Nike.com As many of you have known It's happened pretty much throughout the whole year But the last several weeks There's been big cancellations Of online releases by Nike.com so first it was the Chicago ones, then it was the N7, uh, Jordan 7, and Jordan 1 Low, and now more recently it's the Space Jam 5s, or the Poison Green 5s, or the Pro Stars 5s, whatever you want to call them. According to Nike, they're canceling this because of the issues of bots. If that is true, kudos to Nike. My only issue is how are they going to counteract it? There has been word going around that they're going to require more verification for each pair. Meaning that for this particular account, not only will you have to do maybe like a capture system, but you got to put in your driver's license info, you got to put in, I heard you got to put in your driver's license, your, your age, or some type of ID information when you do it online. As a matter of fact, I know a lot of bot companies are pissing their pants. I mean, a lot of these resellers we, um, rely on bots to cop shoes, rely on proxies to cop shoes, and the fact that Nike for three Jordan releases in a row, fairly big ones, especially the Chicago ones, to cancel them, they haven't said any word about when they're re releasing them, they've just canceled them all together and said because of the bots were doing that, it's huge. They're losing tons of money. They're trying to do other backdoor things or, or make other bots for other websites like sneaker sites like Foot Locker Champs, Finish Line, etc. To, to help keep their business going. My discussion question is, how do you feel about this? And do you really see a real solution to the bot craze? I applaud Nike for doing this. I know a lot of sneakerheads are mad, especially those who try to get it online like me. Uh, the Chicago ones, I wanted to cop them, but you know, all the other online releases was difficult to get. And you know, I struck out here locally. So I would love to get those at retail. You know, really the only way to counteract bots is one, keep increasing retail prices. We thought we were seeing that early on because all the Jordans so far sat except for the Hairs, the 11 Lows, but the Columbia sat, the Columbia 4s, Oreo 4s sat, the pre grape sat, um, you know, the Poison Greens that just came out sat. Um, even the white metallic five sat a lot of the, the French blue seven sat forever But I don't mind it because then if you change your mind a month or two down the road You can go back and get the kit. I really do think that increasing the price of the shoes as much as we hate it Because especially with Jordan brand that will start to deter a lot of the uh, resellers another thing of course would be availability we all Sneakerheads want shoes to be as limited as possible because then when they grab them, they can say, look, I got one of 10,000 pairs, 50,000 pairs, 5,000 pairs. Honestly, I could care less about that because I wear my kicks, so I just want them to be available. Um, but I just think it's so stupid. Like I, it, it annoys me so much when I go on Twitter to get a shoe, I strike out, and all I see are pictures of bots, different bot companies and different bot websites showing, oh, we're cooking today, we're eating today. And you'll see a pair like, you know, LeBron's, KD's, Jordan's, Kobe's, and they have a picture of 50 pairs scooped. Or they'll show a proxy where they have four of every size nabbed from an online release. And they'll put it on there and flash it like, oh, this is why you should get my bot. This is why you should get this bot. This is why you should get this proxy, this system, etc., etc. There is one more way I think too that um, bots can be counteracted, and that is just more random drops. I think that's the number one way to do it. Now there are bots that screen Nike, and they'll say, oh, "Coming soon. There's a restock coming soon. Stay tuned, etc., etc." But Nike can really do it where they just randomly release it, just like they did the Red October Yeezys. That will be a huge way for bots 
to be eliminated because as much as they try to screen that and as much as there's a lot of monitoring systems out there tons of random drops means more opportunities for people like myself to get the shoe you want but i could go on and on i wish i had an, opp an opportunity to chop it up more with you guys um with these topics because it's really fun and and i really want to get more feedback so leave it down below but anyway i've yapped enough thanks for tuning in it's your boy the smart sneakerhead and brother is out peace <laughs>